Morgan and Tim here, back with more EDU and 90. On this episode, we'll look at Google Earth and highlight how educators are leveraging this flexible, engaging tool in the classroom. That's right. Since it's launched more than a decade ago, Google Earth has made its way into classrooms around the globe. Educators across grade levels and subject areas have made use of this tool with students to deepen engagement, introduce topics, and build new skills. Let's take a look at some of the creative ways Google Earth is being used in the classroom. Let's start with Google Earth layers. There are more than 10 different layers, including ones on current weather radar and current global temperature. And in her lessons on weather, Ro James, an elementary school teacher in California, leverages these with her students. They'll begin by interpreting weather data, then make predictions about upcoming weather, and then circle back and use the layers as a compelling anchor point for class discussion. Another approach to leveraging layers comes from James in British Columbia. He suggests coupling layers with complementary Google Earth Voyager stories. For example, he and his students use the Earth at Night Voyager story as part of their unit on population. As a follow-up activity, they look at the Protecting the Earth's Last Wild Places layer to explore where there's human impact on nature and discuss its implications. Google Earth can also be a flexible resource for writing lessons and warm-ups. For instance, Sarah in Chicago will share a menu of 10 different international cities with her students and have them choose one. Based on their selections, they'll work in small groups to compare and contrast the locations with their own community in Chicago. From there, they'll work independently on short narrative writing pieces using sensory details to describe what it would be like to take a walk in that location. Another quick, flexible use of Google Earth is through quizzes. Brenna in Louisiana uses these to introduce concepts to her students and to provide some extra variety in her lessons. For example, with the Ocean Safari Quiz, her students are able to explore a topic in a quick, engaging way, perfect for kicking off a new unit or lesson. And lastly, fifth grade teacher Donnie utilizes a fresh take on bingo. With the I'm Feeling Lucky button in Google Earth, he and his students carefully observe the characteristics of each of several locations. He'll adjust the bingo cards to support and reinforce whatever topic he's covering with the students. Physical concepts by using terms for geographic features like deltas, buttes, and rivers. Math and geometry concepts by observing different types of angles, lines, and two-dimensional shapes. And community concepts by looking at community types and institutions like libraries, hospitals, and fire stations. Yep, that's a wrap for this episode, but we know there are heaps of other ways to use Google Earth in the classroom. If you have a favorite, be sure to share it in the comments below. We'll see you next time for more EDU in 90. Virtual field trips, book clubs, and more. Check out our last episode to hear how educators like you are using Hangouts Meet in their classrooms.